Welcome everyone, I'm Tim and this is the controller. Thanks for clicking on Fallout 4, you only live once. Last time we made our way to Fort Hagen, ran into a few hiccups along the way. We got attacked by mole rats and took a few slight little knocks from them. And we also picked up a few rats because we were running scared from a mechanist death squad. Thankfully, we were able to escape them before meeting back up with Dogmeat and finishing the rest of the way to Fort Hagen. Today, we get to venture on inside and confront the killer of our husband. And if you've enjoyed the content, please hit that sub subscribe and like button as it would be greatly appreciated. With that, let's jump into it. Now, if I'm careful, I'm hopeful I can sneak around. And I believe right in here is a skill magazine. Nice. Guns and bullets. 5% more critical damage. That is what I'm wanting. And there's no need for me to cause any trouble with any synths that are patrolling. Let's get back out of here and go in from the basement. You can enter from up top, but really there's no need to do that as there are an extra two or three synths that you have to take out, which isn't ideal when you don't have to fight them. I mean, why bother? This is a YOLO run, and you don't want to take damage. Just loop around to the basement. parking garage there is a bed down here if you do want to save chem station 2 you can do a little bit of crafting settler tried to make a go of it down here but couldn't quite handle it I am kind of thinking I might want to do a little bit of inventory management again as I think I'm getting closer to weight capacity. Not even remotely close to weight capacity. We will roll with what we got. We are sitting on roughly... 25% of adrenaline, which is handy. I'd like to be a little bit higher, but we will be killing scents along the way, which will help us out. Now, it's always a gamble you fire this guy on and have him draw attention or do you just sneak around yourself but I kind of think I want a temporary ally back down had to break stealth there briefly to hack the computer Now that guy will wander around and hopefully and take out some guys. He is a watcher, a little bit higher level than some. Your attempted escape is only a making thing word for you. Are you attempting an ambush? Oh, my scanners must be malfunctioning. Appears to be nothing. Perhaps my spoo ever or whatever you are. 
Striders. Bare minimum, even if he doesn't take them out. Hopefully he can get a few hits on... A few hits on the synths. Does make me a little nervous. But yeah, he's he's doing good work on the strider. Opening area, there are a few rooms and loops. Synths can really sneak up on you if you're not careful. I know you are still there. Gone. Excellent. Just slowly make my way. Around here. There's the leader. Take him out through the wall. That's a little bit further on down. Strider almost had eyes on me there back away the most dangerous synth is now down step in the right direction now if you came in through the the roof you'd be coming down these stairs instead we don't have to go up them at all so we can just avoid the synths that are up there. Please come out. Not a fan of all these loops. Because they can just come at you from any direction. If I can get another shot on a strider through the grate here. Ooh, laser turret. That's handy. That could have been very detrimental. Laser turrets hit like a brick. Probably a poor time to reload. Okay, how good of work did Protectron do? That's another thing that's a little bit of a oh, he did he did great work. Nicely done. Did fantastic work. Real question is, where is the Protectron now? Is 
I know there's a turret in here. We'll end this main room before advancing further. Always got to look for traps. That's it. Four grenades. That is a good chest. I think I hear the protectron. If he doesn't seem too concerned. That's fine by me. The issue I'm going to run into is there's a turret right around the corner. Uh oh. We better crit him. The issue though is the Protectron might become an enemy though now because they have a weird relationship even though the turret and the Protectron should be hostile to one another they are robots and robots have an unspoken alliance with taking out that turret from the other room. I think that means that this room is cleared. Get our nice, ooh, nine. Nine shots and a plasma mine, nice. Get our loop around door if you had advanced lock picking for the terminal so I guess I guess that is advanced hacking or a couple ammo boxes and med kit just generic loot I never saw that protectron again Kind of surprising. He did great work, though. Let's head a little bit deeper. Going up. It says going up, but I dare say that looks like we're going down. Strider. Now there will be a turret right there. Don't have very many action points going right now. And there's the parking garage there. If I wanted to just nip out and say, no thanks, <laughs> this is not for me. Got a nice 
weapon and armor workbench if you need to take a look at your armor or weapons. Normally you don't have the... I didn't want the wrench. Normally you don't actually have the supplies on you that you need. One more synth, I believe, around here. Do have to look for turrets. There are a fair amount of turrets in this location as well. Oh, he just had a shock baton. Just noticed that I was thirsty. Don't want that. I want, I need all the action points I can get. Now that that is taken care of, action bars look a little bit better. Still not great. Kellogg, you're just scared. Here a turret. I think it's right around this side. Or neither side. I just freaked out over nothing. Oh, mute fruit. Duct tape. couple pulse grenades I can chuck in if I want to. I do have frag grenades set right now. They might be able to uh, come in handy. Alright, it takes two shots to kill a Mark III. That's a problem. Always back away from doors. You never know if you'll miss a trap. Sorry, your house has been a wreck for 200 years. I don't need a roommate. Leave. No thanks. I will advance forward. Coming up will be a good time for grenades. Be a long hallway with some scents. Striders are getting a little tougher. Just can't come this way. Ooh, legendary. Take legendaries out when you can. I think I'll just back off a little bit. Wait to go back into hidden. Scanning. Two striders down, back to hidden. 
Looked like one more strider. Weary now from lack of sleep. That is... Why am I going down on tiredness so fast? Fatigue. When did I pick up fatigue? Oh, I bet that was from the mole rats when they hit me. I did not realize I had picked that up. On the plus side, I no longer have parasites, and I'm doing 40% damage from adrenaline. But that AP refresh of minus 30%, minus one agility, that's less sneak too. That is starting to get a little bit more concerning. What's my inventory capacity at? 210. I still have another 22 carry that I can make, but you don't like to see red by your action bar. That has eaten up a lot of the action points. And that regen is slow. The uh, final boss fight will be right down in there with Kellogg. Just got to do a little loop-de-loop -loop around to him. And what you got for me? <laughs> Hunter's walking cane. That's just comical. If you had expert lock or expert hacking, this terminal controls a good chunk of turrets from here on out. You can hack into them, make them on your side. If you had to choose between lockpick and hacking, the hacking tends to have a little bit more of good benefits to it versus the lockpick. Plant for fuel. Oh, take some of those. 44. Three fusion cores. If I was running power armor, I'd be jumping for joy. Saw you run across the screen. Don't think anybody's that way. I know you are still there. You are correct, I am still here. No one's in the bathroom. Okay. 
Come back through here. Sent. Now I understand. Looks like there must be another one right down there. I got grenades. Did nothing. I believe there's another strider, yeah. Benefit of grenades, they don't use action points. Please come out. I am equipped with the most advanced. Real question is what side I will find you. See on that side. Ooh, shoot, he's shooting at me. I think he hit me. 0.98. Ooh, and I'm in danger. What am I in danger from? One more hit point. That's not bad. At least one turret. I kind of expected to take a little bit of damage in here. There are a lot of enemies. 0.98, if that's all I take. I am A-OK -okay with that. Sounds like two turrets. There's one. Okay, still in hidden. Sure nobody's in these back rooms. Another fusion core there. And nobody is in this room. Okay. Nice med kits in here. That is some good selling. Drugs are good money. Got the armory password now. And in here, once you get to the back, there will be a few synths that spawn in. Should be able to uh, take care of them. A few fragmentation mines. We'll put one. Not sure where they come, if they come up from the stairs. If that's the case, put one in the door opening here. Go on top of the stairs if they happen to come from this direction. One there. And if they make it in the room. One right there. Now let's double it up. Twice the explosion. I have I have quite a few. Switch back to grenades. There is a I believe bobblehead in here. And, okay, they're already coming in. Okay. 
came in way faster than I thought. Wow, there are a few left. Please come out. Please come to this door. I must report this assault directly to Kellogg. Ooh, a patroller. That is getting higher. more cover than just right there but still a brick wall fair amount of sense that just came in got it I got four of the grenades back not bad now where are you bobblehead hmm I could have sworn in this back room was a bobblehead right when you come in so either I am misremembering that there was one back here in this kitchen or it got knocked somewhere else and I can no longer find it but I don't see anything there oh it's because it's staring right here and look at this Energy weapons bobblehead permanently gain 25% crit damage with energy weapons. So that just makes my lucky laser pistol that much stronger. I was could have swore that it was back in here, but I guess with the synths coming in when they did, it kind of threw me off. Those mines seem to do the trick, though. From both directions, even. Do an arm way over there. You got guts and determination. It's admirable. I think Kellogg is getting just a teeny weeny little bit scared that I'm making it this far. Let's top off that water and food again. Action bar still doesn't look very good, but we are slowly creeping on up closer to Kellogg. like it we're getting nice and close to the next level with picking up that key that gives us access in here now this actually has pretty good loot in it got some medicine bobby pins had a few drugs in there a few stim packs and then Got a security gate and just a regular old toolbox to unlock with novice lock. Then in here, just a few more rounds of 10 millimeter, just miscellaneous ammo types. Sitting around. And that has okay mods on it. And there is a fat man 
with a mini nuke. Which, if you needed to take on Kellogg with that, crit him in the face with that, and that is a guaranteed kill. But I have other plans for him. And here you get another okay. skill magazine. A little bit more stealthy. And this nice king size bed. Laser turret snuck up on me a little bit. Shoot it down quick. Good deal. I think there's uh, another one right around the corner. Probably should wait till it goes to uh, hidden though. Now if it sees me, it will take a split second before it starts firing. And we got the room Kellogg's been sleeping in. It's got some beautiful furniture from Kellogg, yeah. from the Institute. I'm just up ahead. My synths are standing down. Let's talk. Sweet. I am tempted to sleep. Get a few more action points. But I can sleep after Kellogg's dead. This is where it begins to get a little sketchy. I might take some damage up ahead. But I have a fun treat for Mr. Kellogg. Now, as we come up this way... Trying to think exactly what I want to do. I am sitting on two crits. So if we just crit you right away in the head. Take Kellogg out. Now start backing off. Possibly. They didn't even know what was going on. One more dead. Still in caution. This is hilarious. How do you not know where I'm at? And you are down. Just like that. Kellogg is dead. A little anticlimactic. You can go down with a guaranteed crit headshot with a strong weapon you can use that mini nuke launcher that was back in the armory to crit him in the face usually it will kill the synth that positions right around there and it just leaves you one other synth to take care of and you can also lay some mines down and if you are engaged in conversation and say basically screw you Kellogg you're going to die He'll back back around and he should blow himself up. But with those killings, I actually had forgotten that we had a level up. It wouldn't have mattered that much as I am leaning towards hitting up critical banker number two to have three crits in the bank ready to go. 
I think it's pretty obvious with the patrols from last time, last episode, that it's pretty crucial to have as many crits as you can have, as they do so much more damage than just a basic shot, and it's a guaranteed hit from super long distance. Oh, Kellogg tank. has some random oh, stuff on it, and hammer. Kellogg's pistol, that is a very, very good weapon. Refilling your action points on a critical hit, basically never-ending shots with a very powerful weapon. Unfortunately, we can't use it for a pistol only run though like I am doing it is very very powerful unfortunately it is guaranteed so we cannot use it now there's just some generic loot dotted around and really that's all there is to it we can go back and sleep on the bed we do have to check out Kellogg's terminal just to kind of know what was going on with Sean. And there we go. Now I'll just head back to Nick Valentine and share the results and hopefully go from there. But as we are so close to this beautiful looking bed and we are fatigued and tired we may as well just sleep a nice eight hours and get into early morning. Cross your fingers that I'm not sick again. Insomnia, fantastic. What does insomnia do? I require more sleep now. I require frequent sleep and more sleep. That is a phenomenal one-two punch. That will really start dig it into my special stats with being fatigued. But now that Kellogg is toast, I think it is time to call an episode here. Next time we will venture back to Diamond City and turn it into Nick and see what he has to say. But thankfully we're able to get through this mostly unscathed and I am pleased with that. But thanks for joining and thanks for watching. And until next time, powering off.